All right, guys, you know what it is. Another episode of Free Game Friday. Today, we're going to be talking about my top five real estate investment strategies. So let's get right into it with number one is the BRRRR method. Okay, that is B-R-R-R. -R, and it stands for buy, rehab, rent, and repeat. All right. For an example, you'll purchase a property that you're going to rent out. Uh, let's say for $150,000, you purchase the property. You put $25,000 worth of repairs into it. You know, slapping some paint on the wall, redoing the flooring, fresh carpet, uh, maybe a new roof and maybe jazzing up the countertops to swap them out to granite or something like that. So you do a light rehab. Well, the property value is gonna increase automatically. And so you're actually setting yourself up for immediate equity, but then also you have a passive income play from that, from the bird method. And basically you just rent it out. So let's say you rent it out for 1% of what the property's worth. So let's say the property's gonna be worth $220,000 and you're all in at 175. Your loan is probably about 150 because you've had to put down like 20% or so. And so at the end of the day, you're making passive income and you also have increased the value of the property. So should you need to sell quickly, you already have the immediate equity captured right there. All right, so let's get right into it. Number two, STRs, okay? That stands for short-term rentals. I love short-term rentals. If you're near uh, an event center, like a stadium or a concert hall or uh, some museums or around any attractions where you know that people come and they visit and they frequent often, then you can have a rental property that you fully furnish and you fully stock with dishes and utensils and all of those type of things. And then now you can rent them out for a daily rate on Airbnb, VRBO, different travel sites. Um, you can attract travel nurses, pilots, airline stewardess, uh, all, all those type of people will pay a daily rate for a fully furnished property. So I love that. Number three is gonna be grab and hold, okay? A grab and hold is simply a property that don't need to be rehab, but it's great for rentals. So now you're making passive income without having to rehab the property and put in money for the remodel, all right? Moving right along to my number four. My number four favorite uh, real estate investment strategy is gonna be owner financing, all right? I love owner financing because it benefits both the owner of the property as well as the person that's renting from them. And this is ideal for people who want to get into a rent to own situation. They don't have the best credit. They haven't had their job for long enough. They don't have any tax returns. And some people don't even have a social security number. Uh, they're working on a visa or they, they, you know, whatever the case may be. You can rent the property out for them for a sizable down payment and you don't have to be the landlord. Yes, you heard me right. You don't have to be the landlord. So you will require, like say, let's say 20% down of $200,000. So somebody's gonna give you $40,000. You become the bank. You charge the interest that you wanna charge and you amortize them over 15, 20, or 30 years, just like the bank would be. I mean, the bank would do. And at the end of the day, they end up getting a property that they would otherwise wouldn't be able to qualify for because they didn't have the scores or something like that. They didn't have the job history. And then you get to capture a large down payment instead of monthly rents. And you don't have to be a landlord because when you do owner financing, the tenant, the person that is paying you until they own the property is responsible for all of the repairs and damages to the property. All right, so coming in at number five is flipping and or new construction. I love flipping properties and building new construction. You already know what flipping houses is. That's when you buy a property that needs to be remodeled, you remodel it, and then you turn around and sell it for a profit, okay? Uh, doing new construction is buying a lot that's vacant or buying a tear down house that needs to be torn down only for lot value. You purchase the land, you do your architectural plans, and you build the property, whether it be a single family home or whether it be a single, I mean, I'm sorry, a multifamily home, whatever it is, you turn around and you sell it for a profit. So those are my top five real estate investment strategies. You already know what to do if you wanna learn more information.